Good morning, everybody. Good morning from another nice, cool, breezy day here in the Philippines. Man, I heard up in parts of Luzon, it's getting all the way down to 11, and that's in Celsius. That's not in Fahrenheit. Man, the mornings and the evenings just feel so good. That, that cool air coming down has made the temperatures really nice. In fact, last night we were all sitting out at the beach, and everybody's complaining that they were cold and wanted to come inside on it. What? <laughs> so, um, we're taking the last eye beam around and we're going to cut it to make those short end pieces down there. Well, um, Christmas is getting closer and closer. And that's pretty exciting. We're gonna have a big event out here and uh, that's gonna be really enjoyable. We're looking forward to that. So, no, we still haven't ran the camera on the drain claw yet. I might do it today, I might do it. Um, but I'm trying to get some other stuff done before our event out here. So our focus has been more towards the Christmas party and we wanted to get some things done. One of the things, one that I beam up there so it would be all complete and I'm gonna pull uh, tarpaulin probably over and stretch it tight for a while of the event so not only we have the shade but we have a little bit of rain protection in case something pops up while our little events going on and also um, built a little shaded area out by the beach kind of like a little nip of hut out there and with a bench on it and all that we can sit right out at the water we then just feed of the water and enjoy it it won't last a real long time storm or waves or something they'll come in and destroy it but it was from a bunch of existing materials we had here laying around a bunch of old bamboo and uh hey make use out of it paid a couple guys a uh, day and a half labor to put it all up and put it together and there we go that's just part of it when you're gonna have an event you need to have accommodations for people to enjoy in this first little room Ambin is going through touching up all of the skim coating in here and sanding and filling out little irregularities and uh, getting it prepared for us to texture and paint. So you already prime and paint this both? Paint huh, primer, so you still need to paint it? <coughs> yeah, keep going. Push it that way. Push it that way. Push it that way. There you go. Well, and set it right here on this tab right here. Can somebody set up here? Be careful, don't let it slide. Yeah, hold on to it. Hindi kaya magsalo, 
Oh, y'all be careful. Don't let it slip off right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Man, I hope this don't slide. Man, do we need to put a rope on this so we can keep a hold of it and it don't fall to that stainless if it slips? Get that rope. Get the other end. Yeah. I'm positive. Now you're gonna have to. Now you gotta slide this down. You can just leave this hanging. It's okay. <laughs> no, you better go ahead and slide it that way more first. Now, now leave that tied. That's in case it slips out of your hand. It don't fall and damage all the stainless. <coughs> yeah, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Keep going. A little more. A little more. Okay, start pulling it in. You got to still go your way. Go your way. More. More. Move your hand. I can't see. A little more. All right, pull, pull it over. Got to get that bottom in. <clears throat> you need to push it this way. Push the bottom in. Yeah. There you go, like that. Yeah. Hey. Where's that welder? Get that welder real quick. Well, we all been up there working for a while, making sure that frame is square. Because when they set that piece of steel up, if I look straight down it to the point where it's going to reach when we uh, cut a small piece, put it the other end, I can see it was off. And so, sure enough, we uh, squared up the whole frame. And if you kind of want to know how to do that, imagine if you, you know, you had a square. And so, you want, you, one of the ways you can do it is to pull a tape from this corner to this corner. And then pull it from this corner to this corner. And cross check it. And those measurements should be the same. So if one of them's off, you can push it a little bit one way or push the frame a little bit the other way and it's going to make it square up. So like if you were out an inch and a half, say like one corner is an inch and a half longer on your measurement than the other way, well then you're gonna scoot it three quarters of an inch and it's gonna adjust itself then to where it's gonna meet in the middle and it's gonna be correct. So that's one method you can do it. Probably the easiest method too. So we got up there and did that. Uh, we checked our runs down our sides first to make sure that we're equal length on both sides. We should have been because we merged it and cut it to proportion. And we were. And we got some gaps up there we need to count for. So we, we measured down both sides of the frame. We measured the width of the frame. So then we had all the same measurement. So then it's a matter of scooting it around uh, a little bit you know diagonal one way or the other and making that measurement come right there and meet in the middle 
So now every measurement all the way around it matches up and your cross measurements match up and you're square and you're good to go. Joel's in here getting a door set. Man, you've already got it hung just about. Man, you're almost done. So the CR is going to have a door on it now. Joel, I'm going to disturb you just a second. I'm going to show them the countertop piece you put on earlier. So he laminated this countertop earlier. I think that looks pretty good. And I've got a bit that we're going to drill the holes for that bowl sink, for the drain in the middle, and for the faucet. Uh, he's still got to put the piece here on the front. You already grouted it in too, didn't you, man? Heck yeah, good job, dude. Heck yeah, so he's hanging the door. Once he gets it all exact and he knows it's dead on, um, within the next couple of days, we're going to take the this door and the others down and put a finish coat over them especially where they're in here being used on a CR. I'm gonna use that floor urethane, that two part, like we put on those little rings. And we're gonna do these doors with it. We're gonna make sure there's no dust in the air. And uh, we'll finish those with that. I think it'll look good. Now that we have the countertop piece placed on here, it's time to put in this bowl sink. And it's time to put in this faucet right here. So, Underneath here in the concrete, in the concrete countertop before we laminate it, we left a large hole, bigger than this mark I have here. And that's so we can get up in there and connect and have room to move our hand around. And then we're gonna cut through this laminate. Now what I bought is a masonry type bit right here for cutting through granite, marble, tile. Um, you know, it's gonna be that, you know, diamond and crust. And these things are pretty expensive. You can see the gleaming all right there and you see that. Um, it's not cheap. And I could not get a direct perfect size. Uh, we took this faucet at the store. We looked at this. We put the tip, let me see if I kind of one op hand operating. And we tried it and there is flange still sticking out around on it. So, the next size down, nobody stocks it. I went to many places, and so it was hard for me to even find this, but this one here will work. And I'll need to actually enlarge this hole a little bit. So what we'll do is probably hit it, hit it, hit it, enlarge a little bit around this bowl sink. So close the door there, he's grinding. So we transpose the mark where the sink drain is right here. We're gonna go down in here and do it, and then we're gonna transpose the one for the faucet, get it over here and get those mounted in here today. And as you see, we have a door now on this restroom, this CR. Uh, we haven't put a finish coat on it yet, but we do have it up and fit it and it's nice to have that as well. Yeah, take those off. This is supposed to screw directly on here. Let's see. It's made this, yep, there it is. It's moved. So this bit that I bought here is made to screw directly on to a grinder. And this particular grinder, what I like about it when I bought it, is it is variable speed, so you can adjust the speed. You're not supposed to adjust it while the trigger's pulled. It's supposed to stop it and adjust it. It can tear it up. And it has a trigger, so you can instantly stop. There's no switch that's locked in place. You can just instantly let go and stop it. So. You got your power cord and everything. So we're gonna set this up, tape it around so maybe we don't scratch up. Joel, you're gonna be the one. You go ahead and plug it up. Hey, close that door. So Joel's gonna be the one to hold it here. You wanna check your speed first. It might be a little fast to start out with. A little slower. Let's start out a little slower than that. Now when you get it down real slow, it kind of loses its power when you actually put it to a surface. We'll just try it and you can adjust it up if you need to. Probably, you might want to put your hand up on it on here or whatever you're most comfortable with so it don't jerk. 
you start slow. Now you want to start slow. So you want it spinning first. Pull the trigger first. There you go. There you go. Hold the back up more. Hold, hold the back up a little bit more. You're kind of angled down a little bit. All right, right there. Now you want to start it spinning first. If we get a groove started, we'll speed it up. All right, now stop it. Stop it. Now speed it up. Because we got a groove started now, so it won't jump around. All right. Hold on. There we go. Slow it down some, slow it down some right here because we're almost through it. I don't want it to jerk real hard when it gets through. Oh, maybe too much. There it is. So we got the bowl set, but we haven't bonded it down yet. I used some construction adhesive and put it on. I don't want to put too much. I want it so if I ever need to remove it, I could kind of pop it or run something sharp underneath it and cut that bond. So uh, you never know, somebody could break a sink or anything and you need to change it and you want to damage your whole top trying to do that. So don't want to over bond it. Um, but nevertheless, we got it and everything's here going uh, for that. And Joel went, Joel went underneath and he drilled a pilot hole right where the faucet's going. And so we got that too. Now I'll tell you something I didn't realize. I'm gonna tell you the truth. When we were in there going through some of our stuff just then, come across this faucet and I have completely forgot. It had just been a while, I bought stuff in advance. I completely forgot that I had already bought the faucet for this particular bowl sink. Um, so I'm actually glad that I found that. It's gonna be nice and on there, nice and perfect. Um, it's a really good one too. Just times went by and it absolutely slipped my mind. But nonetheless, the extra one I have is not a waste because we needed a faucet for another sink over in this next little guest room over here. So it's not a waste any which way. Slide that right up on there and twist it. It's not for mixing shots. <laughs> shot, 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 shots. All right, let's let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna hold it up right here. Let me get it lined up here. Hold on just a second. There we go. Let's just see what it does. get a blade underneath there at a later date I'm not they're gonna be sitting it in no cement bed or anything we'll kind of just put it towards the inside of that and it should smash outwards that's more than enough right there in fact if that smashes out it's gonna be a mess to clean up but I think you can get your fingers underneath there and clean it up Uh, 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 we gotta turn this. That's why I didn't tighten it all the way because we gotta turn it. There you go. Let me just seat it a little bit. All right, there it is. And like I said, I didn't tighten the faucet up completely yet. I just got it snug so that I wanted to line this up right with one of these little scallops in this. And uh, that'll be it right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. So, 
didn't squeeze out too bad. You can always get underneath there and hit that. Um, I might try to go underneath there with a, a bead of white caulk. Limited space you can work. Why don't you see if you can get some of that extra out of there. You might have to put it on the end of the screwdriver or that knife outside and just kind of wipe some of that extra out right there. Next we're going to be over here on this one. And uh, I can see we need to pull the sink back up. Now we just have the sink shoved in the hole right now, right? It's just sitting here, right? Because we're going to need to prep this back here. I can see there's some concrete kind of sticking out where it don't need to be. been up here trying to get this thing leveled out and in the beginning I had bought that uh, long flat plate and we cut little tabs little pieces so see you can use them for shims and we shimmed around here to get this level then we'll weld those all up so there's a couple shims here over in that corner and like one right over there and that's all we had to put and I tell you what it's not too bad and that's just normal to have to shim things like that. Um, these guys didn't like get this all poured just dead on accuracy and you can't, can't expect them to either. Uh, but it's easy enough, shim it, and then those will get welded in place. These will get welded all to the I-beam. Uh, we'll bend them over to it and weld it all up on both sides. And that will be that. Hey, put it on your on your metal plate there where it's naked. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Cap's just now seeing my little, my little party place we built out here. I hadn't even showed it to the viewers yet, Cap. How you like that, uh, that piece of wood we put right there and all? Uh -huh. And this is the side off that great big old log, the same one the countertop's made out of. Uh -huh. Yeah.